Teach me grappling. What's up, guys? I've got the man right here, Dave Weber. What's up, guys? Uh, super stud. They used to call him uh, 300, right? For a little Three. bit. Captain America. Captain America. That was the other one. Yeah. So, um, anyway, guys, I, I promised you the guillotine. And then I realized, guys, I went back to my, my video from like two weeks ago. Uh, you really don't need the video I'm going to show you. But the good reason why I'm actually going to do this again is because of the title of this video is going to attract people because of the Ortega versus Volkanovsky fight. Um, having said that, you guys can also watch this. I basically showed the same thing on my mounted guillotine defense video. Now, what else can I say about it? I'm just going to do that maybe later in the week. We'll, we'll knock out the triangle. We'll, we'll talk about the anaconda. We'll talk about the dars and, and that stuff. Okay, so... Coach Dave is on his back here. And then, guys, look, I'm, I'm uh, Ortega, this is Volkanovsky. I wanna mention what I said on last night's live when I talked about it. He caught a kick right here and he threw a jab, which knocked Volkanovsky down. Volkanovsky started to do a sit-up. When he did a sit-up, you saw Ortega leap into the mount, like getting an arm and guillotine and almost taking this foot, I'm gonna uh, wrap it around you, Dave, almost like I'm trying to pull guard. So he actually went like this, and if Volkanovski didn't go to his back and went on top, it actually would have been horrible for Volkanovski because now, Dave, now try to defend. Yeah, it's, it's done. But if Dave pulls me on top of him, they ended up here, and then the arm kind of came out, so the arm pulled out and it became just an arm in and the legs became crossed by Ortega and he started his arch like this. And you saw, you saw Volkanovski, dude, Volk you didn't see the fight, right? Yeah, yeah. Volkanovski was doing like, he was just kicking like crazy because he wanted to get his legs free. I think he was attempting the kipping mm -hmm. mountain escape and, and he was just in danger. He said it was really, really tight. So can you do that to me real quick? The, the, the guillotine? Here. So, again, he, he caught the, the, the kick right here. He caught the kick and threw a jab and knocked him down. He sat up and boom, he went into the mount. Locked his hands. This one right here, guys, came out. So this one ended up coming out. Now look at the defense right here by Volkanovski. He put, as he pulled his hand out, he put his hand right here. I don't know if the camera can see that really good, but you've got that kind of pushing right here. So Dave, go ahead and try to push, like pull the, and lock your feet. Try to choke him. It's not tight, that's tight. And he still got me, right? So as you're doing that, you know, um, go ahead and start to do it. Volkanovs is kind of doing a funky chicken and eventually it came out. You know, the head slipped out and then he was, he was free. So with the camera, just make sure you kind of walk around and get angles. Now I want to show, come around where my head is. Go ahead and get the, get the, the choke again. So I'm going to show you guys what I would do. Again, what Volkanovski did worked just fine. But guys, when he's here and he has this nice and snug, it's nice and snug. What I'm going to do first, guys, look. I don't care if the guy's crossed. If he's trying to arch, stomp the mat, drive weight this way. So I'm turning my right hip and putting weight so the weight is on Dave's head. At the same time, I'm lifting my head up and I'm looking in. So as I'm not trying to tuck my chin, I don't want, I don't want my head to be turned and popped off. So can you get a little deeper like, yeah, there you go. Now watch, I lift up, I turn in and I push. When Dave tries to crank now, it's tough for him. Now with my left hand, I can go over and then add to the defense by pulling here. Just like you do in the normal guillotine defense. Go ahead and start to pull. It's really tough for Dave to like finish me. I'm really not worried. I'm just chilling. He's wasting energy. I'll maneuver the legs. I'll start to recover and get into say a lockdown, stretch, and then fart, and then try to take his back. So, um, the fart's option. Uh, what else? So that's one thing you guys can do. You can always do what Volkanovski did by pushing on the forearm. I also talk about pushing on the chest or the shoulder. So if he's here, you could be doing this. Look at my hand here. If I can't get here, 
and my arm is like this and his elbow tight, I can push against his arm. See how I'm doing that, Dave? Mm -hmm. How does that feel, kind of? My grip slipping. Yeah, so keep trying to squeeze. It's really tough. And you guys can hear from my voice, it's not that bad. I'm not really gurgling or anything. As I keep pushing, eventually I break that grip and I'll be okay and we'll get out and we'll get free. So that's kind of what happened. And then what would I recommend? When the guy's on his back and I catch a mounted guillotine, the guy comes up, boom. I catch it, let's say no arm. Uh, again, could be with an arm in. I'm gonna drop down. And what I don't do is I don't cross my feet or grapevine hook. So I don't do this right here. Because if Dave turns and looks at me and turns that, like, I can't pull hard. He's resisting it, it's, it's really tough. So watch what I do, guys. I drop my hip, so if he's turning like that, I pulse my foot and I and walk around and see uh, Dave's jaw. So I'm gonna kind of crush Dave's jaw like a north-south choke would. I crush his jaw and I turn sideways. Now, my leg over here, my heel, I'm gonna bring this up. And it looks like there's a hole right here, but I don't care. He's not gonna exploit the hole with his arm. That would actually make it worse. I'm gonna put my heel up here, really tight to his ribs or, or his hip. I don't want it down like this. I lose a lot of pressure. So I put this up like this so I can stomp. And then the other foot over here, I take this foot, I don't necessarily break my hook. You could, I like to put my leg like this. So I have a little bit of base. So if they try to bridge me, it's tough. And then all my body weight is crushing his neck. I can lock my hands. So if you guys can see, I can lock my hands. If Dave's trying to push on my arm to try to survive, I'm putting all my pressure as I squeeze. It's really easy, okay? It's a very easy choke. Um, much more, it looks like a, like a uh, combination of a north-south choke and a guillotine combined, which I always think of the guillotine and the north-south choke as the same anyway, even though they're like upside down, like the guy's inverted. But I still look at them as a very similar move. I would like to mention Marcel Garcia, master of the guillotine, master of the north-south choke. Why do you think that is? Both chokes are very, very similar. Um, what else can we say about this? It's already on my other video. The lot squeeze. Yeah. So this is another one of those video breakdowns where people get really mad at me because I talk about what Brian Ortega should have done. You know, in order, what could he have done better, in my opinion? I think he's a crazy submission artist who's really, really good with his guard, really good at his triangles. I know he didn't finish it talk about that in another video. He's good with his guillotines, he's good with his anacondas, he's good with his darshas, but not that night. Volkanovski was way better and uh, his defense was on point. The guy's solid. It's not just strength either, it's not just cardio. You know, a lot of people mention those things and those are factors, it always is, but we gotta give it to Volkanovski's skill level as well. You don't just cardio your way out of a, a guillotine like that. It's not just straight cardio, it's skill. It's movement, it's awareness, it's putting your hands and your feet in the right place, your neck in the right place, everything. The shifting of weight. It was, it was pretty cool to see. So guys, um, again, this video exists because you probably saw this because of the Brian Ortega Volkanovski fight. I go into probably greater detail on the other video. It's mounted guillotine defense video that I did for someone. Someone in the comment section made a joke and said it was Volkanovski before the fight. He said, how do I get out of that? Let me know so I know I'm ready for the fight. Anyway, I thought it was funny. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Dave. You're the man. All right. Teach me grappling. Like, share, subscribe. And click those links down at Patreon, PayPal, in the description box. Contribute to this channel if you guys want to help us out. We'll keep bringing you guys more great stuff. See you next time.